looking at this amazing passage, this hymn in Philippians chapter 2, uh, and it would just be worth reading it two or three times and uh, maybe encouraging people to pick out a line that they just want to talk about because it's uh, it's such a great hymn, such a great passage, a poem that really helps us to focus on Jesus and who he was and what he did. And uh, of course the, the great thrust of it is that he is God, that he has humbled himself, that he has died, uh, which is just a, the most amazing thing for uh, anyone to think that God would die like that. You know, the Jews had a God who lived in unapproachable light or uh, in uh, unapproachable darkness, you know, thick darkness. Uh, the Greeks had a God who was very high and distant and other. And uh, and this hymn makes it very clear that God has not only humbled himself and become a human being, but has become obedient to death, even death on a cross. Some people think that that line was, was added afterwards, maybe by Paul as he wrote this bit, rather than quoted the hymn. But that even death on a cross is just huge as you consider the the way that Jesus hangs naked on a, on a cross and exposes God to us. You know, he is in very nature God. Some lines about emptying himself, wonder what he emptied himself of, uh, wonder what that means. Obedient to death, I think is a, is a key phrase, um, and the way that Jesus was consistently obedient to the Father, even to the point of death. And then the exaltation, given a name above every name. Uh, what does that mean? How does that apply? That Jesus is Lord, what's that about uh, in the political uh, context of the, um, the the society that they were in? That To say Jesus is Lord. And then the idea that every knee will bow, every tongue confess, everything in the earth, on the, under the earth and above the earth. And uh, that whole panoply of praise to Jesus, who, the God with us. Uh, have a great time as you think about this stuff. Have a great time as you talk about it. And uh, just focus on Jesus, worship him, maybe take communion together, maybe sing some songs of worship, maybe uh, use these and other passages just to lift your heart in worship and praise to God as you uh, look at this passage. You know, there's not so much to say, but there's a lot to worship and to feed our hearts on, uh, to feed our spirits. I trust that you'll be able to do that uh, tonight as you look at this passage. Bless you. Have a good time. See you in a bit. Bye bye.